Hello, today we are going to discuss nutrition of fungi or the mode of nutrition in fungi. As we all know, all the true fungi like chlorophyll that depend for their food on organic matter of plants and animals. True fungi are therefore heterotopic organisms. They live either as saprophytes or parasites or symbiotic. There are three modes of nutrition that are found in fungi. In saprophytes, they are grown dead organic matter that in decay tissue of plants and animals while in parasites they depend on the living tissue or the tissue of living plant and animals they require living host for their survival while the third category is the symbiotic mode of nutrition in fungi in which they are mutually associated with other organisms for their survivals the saprophytes are basically two types first one is the obligate saprophyte another is the facultative saprophytes obligate means the two obligate saprophytes are those saprophytes or those fungal organism which grow on only on the decay and dead organic matter of plants and animals Examples are Rhizopus, Mucor and Penicillium while the other type of facultative other category is the facultative saprophytes. Facultative saprophytes are originally parasites but in the absence of the host they are capable to grow as saprophytes. For example, Tephrina and Phytophthora. Tephrina cause tar spot disease in maple while the phytophthora cause late blight disease of potato other category as the parasitic mode of nutrition in fungi as i earlier discussed that the parasites requires living host for their survivals the parasites are two type first one is the obligate parasites Obligate means true, they require living host only. In the absence of living host, these types of parasites cannot be survived or they require another host. Like example are the Paxinia and Syncytrium. Paxinia is responsible for the disease, black, word, black rust of wheat. While the synchytrium is responsible for black wart disease of potato. The other category of parasites is facultative parasites. Originally they are saprophytes, but in the absence or in the unfavorable condition, they can act as a parasites. For example, fusarium and pythium. Fusarium is responsible for soft rot disease on many plants or many fruits while the pithium is responsible for the damping of disease as well as soft rot disease. The third category is the symbiotic associations or the symbiotic mode of nutrition in fungi. In symbiosis they depend on another living host or the another organisms for their survivals but the Relationship between the two organisms is mutual. Both are benefited to each other. So, during the nutrition, both inorganic and organic materials play a role in the nutrition of fungi as fungal cells are bounded by cell walls. They absorb food in solutions. The mode of nutrition in fungi is absorptive mode of nutrition. Smaller molecules like sugar and amino acid which are insoluble state in the watery film surrounded the hyphae can be directly absorbed by the hyphae. 
they absorb nutrients by secreting enzymes that convert the complex unsoluble molecules such as cellulose starch and proteins into soluble forms whatever be the substratum the digested materials is absorbed in solution directly through the walls of the hyphae some fungi has have specific structures for the absorption of food like all digestive enzymes the digestive enzymes or true fungi control hydrolysis reaction which convert various complex substrates into the simple complex or the simple components the enzyme that are secreted outside the cell are known as extracellular enzymes or the exoenzymes like amylase cellulase while those are produced or acted upon the enzyme acted within the fungi they are known as intracellular enzymes or the endoenzymes the elements which are essential for the growth of fungi include carbon hydrogen oxygen phosphorus potassium zinc iron magnesium calcium vitamins and other hormones of these carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen are utilized in the formation of fungal wall the true fungi or the eumycotina members use a large number of organic compounds as a source of carbon including carbohydrates organic acids and carbon dioxide of these the most important are the carbohydrate nitrogen is required by all organisms to synthesize amino acids and from these proteins which are required to build up the protoplasm nitrogen is also a components of the nucleic acids and some vitamins so this is all about the nutrition of fungi the mycorrhiza and lichens are the examples of symbiotic relationship or the symbiosis in which like in lichens the fungi is mutually associated with algal filaments while in mycorrhiza the fungal components is mutually established with in the roots so during both the symbiotic relationship mycorrhiza as well as in lichens both the partners are get benefited to each other so by this manners the fungi can survive or absorb their foods so that's it the mode of nutrition in fungi thank you